Hi, my name is Anomaly. If you are new here, I go by Anna. I'm super cheeky. Okay, listen. I did a whole 10 minute intro, right? And didn't have the volume turned on. So that 10 minute intro, she gone. She, she way gone. So today, so is like my keyword. Every time I say it, I'm like, and I don't say that when you're recording. And then I do it anyways. Today we are building a summer campsite. Like where you go for summer vacation. You know what I'm talking about. I don't need to over explain. I was, I really love this build. It's one of my favorites. You're going to have to bear with me because the energy, it needs to come back. This is a long intro. I've got a lot of information to go over. I need to like ease into it. It's been a really long week. A really long week. I haven't had enough sleep. I haven't. <sighs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. Today, it's Wednesday, and the Pins are currently losing their game against the New York Rangers, and it's 3 nothing. 3 nothing. I believe so. It is. It's 3 It's three nothing. Andrew O'Connor is sitting in the penalty box for tripping. I'm going to just minimize that. We don't need to see it. Let's talk about this build. So this is an interesting build. It's one of the most complex vacation rentals that I've ever built. I have started taking my Sims on regular vacations. I have uh, started creating new vacation days for them and new holidays for them. So one of the things that I do with my Sims is I have an end of summer vacation and the last Friday of every summer, my Sims will go on vacation for any period of time. If they can afford a one day vacation, they go for one day. If they can afford a week long vacation, I send their booties out for a week, almost cussed. So <laughs> one of the things that I've realized when I've started doing this and as my Sims family has grown and their family tree has grown and it's become aunts and uncles and cousins and grandma and grandpas going on these vacations, I've even done, we did like a vacation to a beach house for literally Friday and Saturday night for Poppy to be engaged. Uh, Poppy's now spouse popped the question on vacation. I've realized that a lot of these homes are not family friendly. I'm going with like several children, several toddlers, several adults. And even in this build, I'll discuss, like, the bed situation isn't the greatest. I feel like I have to go in and build a specific rental vacation home for my current family. But I feel like I, it, like, inspired in me to do better with vacation rentals. So I tried to give this everything. With Granite Falls and destination vacations, I personally feel like once you go through the gameplay once or twice the gameplay becomes stagnant. Going out and exploring and hiking is great for your Sims. You're just watching them walk around in the woods. I wanted to make sure that this had a lot of activities for the Sims to do. I really love being able to just pop out and swim in like Solani, for example. But I wanted to make sure that the Sims had enough on the lot that they were doing to keep them busy 24 seven. And it's really hard when you go with extended family or Sims that are not yours on vacation, because I feel like you have to entertain them and you have to feed them and you have to make sure they have somewhere to sleep. And it adds this element of challenge. So all that to wrap up, I just really wanted to make sure that this had everything. It had everything. And I almost didn't even get it. I feel like I still could have expanded on this but with the size of the lake I, I didn't want the lot to just be cabin after cabin i wanted there to be a lot more activity space and i feel like the the sleep space kind of gives and takes with that your lot type is a vacation rental for some reason when i uploaded it to the gallery it forced uploaded as a residential lot so if you place this lot you need to make sure that you change your lot type to vacation rental once it is placed I did find it interesting that the lot value was $105,000. This is really weird because, I mean, there's two small cabins and like a small dining hall, but there's not like a lot of indoor things. So I thought like, wow, 
a hundred and five thousand dollars and a lot of it can be <laughs> landscaping <laughs> like that's probably a big portion of landscaping it is a 50 by 50 lot so you can place this anywhere that will support a 50 by 50 lot your lot traits for this are bracing breezes child's play and convivial i wanted it to be something that really embraced sims coming together and spending time together i took my sims personal save file family here and it really felt like a place all of them could enjoy and i really appreciated that i did go back in and update it before after i took the the screenshots of this and before i put it on the gallery so this currently says that it costs 1252 dollars a day to stay here there's a lot of activities i promise it's expensive but it is worth it it is now after the updates 1260 some dollars it's not a huge expense difference but the two pieces that i gave made the build more functional and that was important so i don't have the exact number but i feel like that's less important than the fact that there are changes it was made functional yeah i don't know i did put this on the biggest lot in granite's false forest i feel like it's prettiest there where you can see the um there's like a rainbow and a waterfall it's really pretty but i felt like that was the best place obviously it's the only 50 by 50 lot in granite falls you can put it anywhere you want to but i felt i built it for this lot specifically i had another vacation rental home here and i'm really sad that i'm gonna lose that vacation rental home in my personal save file i'm gonna consider downsizing the lot type and putting it on like a smaller lot type maybe hopefully this is definitely more of my favorite this build sleeps gotta count like a child 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 this build has 16 total beds and i broke them all down there's in the general sleeping cabin there's eight beds they are bunk beds there are two outdoor tents. <laughs> One of them is up on top of a platform. I found this on Pinterest. I'll show you the Pinterest picture. It's very pretty. So I took this in real life concept and applied it in The Sims. This is the first time I've ever done something like this. And honestly, with the tents, it was it turned out really cool. It's one of my favorite features. And I think I'm going to do it a lot more in the future. There are also two toddler sleeping spaces. One of them, they're both in the family cabin. One of them is a actual sleeping bag and the other one is a full frame bed. There's also a pack and play in there, which I thought was really important. And in the general main sleeping cabin, two of the beds that are uh, on the lot, right? No, so I counted this wrong. There's actually 15 then. Cause there's two air mattress beds in that room where the family cabin is that any anyone can sleep with kids adults it doesn't matter anybody can use those so i'm gonna backpedal here the main family cabin has a double air mattress bed a toddler full frame bed a pack and play a toddler sleeping bag and two single air mattress beds i don't know how many sleeping spots that is but it's a lot you get the idea there's also four showers there's only one main public toilet area i did not have an issue with my sims using this i have not used the public bathroom systems a lot i've been trying to use them more where they are applicable i didn't have any issues with sims going to the bathroom wetting themselves so i honestly didn't even think about how it is functionally i don't know if your sims have to wait for another person to come out before they can go in but I had the maximum amount of people I could fit on this lot and did not have an issue with it at all. There are four shower stalls, which I also didn't have an issue with. That was in a general shower area. There was no gender specific or anything like that. It's all one area. And I put different stalls. They all are recognized as one room. So once your sim steps into that space, I don't believe that they'll feel exposed because I know sometimes they can get an embarrassed moodlet. I believe that that space being its own and it having like a sectioned off portion makes the Sim feel like they're in their own room alone. So I don't think that you'll have any issues with the Sims showering and then feeling embarrassed. 
which is important because the Sims can die of embarrassment. We don't want them to die on vacation. There is a kids entertainment area. It has a projector screen and I believe there's also a toy box in there, but above it, I took that tent campsite idea that was elevated and I made a kid's tent with two kids sleeping bags. In the video, I put down three and I realized once I was done with the video that the toddlers cannot get up there. And I didn't know that the ones that I put down were specifically toddler sleeping beds. So I made sure I went back and put kids sleeping beds there. So the sleeping beds that are in the build that are on the gallery are different but for functionality it needed to make sense there's also a general common area outside that includes a sandbox horseshoes a bonfire there's a stargazing area out back there's an area that's kind of secluded from everybody else with one tent that side of the build has a grill on it and my sims kept grilling and setting their serving trays down on the ground and then serving from the ground and then my sims who were eating kept picking up the food and then just setting their empty plate right on the ground. It was like a whole plate mess over there. So for functionality, I added a picnic table here and that's super important because the build needed it and I didn't even realize that it needed it. And I had an issue in the general dining area, the actual enclosed building for dining. The serving table stations they're not functional without a fridge. I had to go back in and add a fridge in order to make those functional. I had not play tested this after I did that, but that's important to know. And then the only other thing that I think I have to add to that is that in the general area, there's water balloons. And I was like really passionate about adding these water balloons because I don't feel like I use them enough. And this is the perfect build to have them. So that's a lot of information, but that is all the information on the build. This is on the gallery under Anomaly YT, which is my gallery ID. And other than that, I'm just so tired, okay? Like, I know it's Wednesday and I'm recording, but when I start, when I did the original intro, I was like, it's Friday and I'm done with the week. So the fact that it's Wednesday in real life and you're seeing this on Friday, hopefully means that I'm taking a nap in real time because I need to be taking a nap in real time. Been a long week. I love you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank you for being here. We are almost, we're just shy of halfway through October. So I'm really excited about everything that is still yet to come, but I appreciate you for watching the videos that have come out yet. Don't forget, there will be a video every single day in October. Hydrate, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. I should call you, see what you've been up to I've been wondering how far did you go in seven months I bet you're happy and don't think that much about me Here I am not knowing how to move on without you
fight the darkness to bring it day. The heart and the past changes the fast like it could. Oh, oh, oh. 
That's sure something I could use A cure for the air conditioning
Sometimes we act like a fool, not aware we're troublemakers. Sometimes we try to be cool, not being givers, only takers. Stop and breathe for a minute Don't get over your head Try to listen instead, boy.